बेहतर से बेहतर की तलाश कर मिल जाए अगर नदी तो समंदर की तलाश कर बट वन थिंग विच यू ऑलवेज शुड रिमेम्बर इज दैट बिलीव इन यूर इन दिस जर्नी there will be lots of ups and lots of downs as well and especially down 25 or 30 din pehle you bought my course and yeah. watched you know 30 40 lectures and that's it i'm like you know let's buy this course i'll definitely learn something new how did you manage these two things revision and practice so you need to make sure that when you're reading it for the first time only mark the important words this message is not only for ca students but for anyone who's you know at any point in life i think there's this one thing which will always help you is to maintain consistency aisi hai ne agar aapko air diya hai aapki thought ki clarity aapki consistency aapka sochne ka tarika hello dosto kya haal chaal kaise ho aap log friends today i have a very very special guest or i can say one of your friends who has just cleared ca intermediate and is now a ca finalist and most importantly a very special guy because he has scored rank air all india rank 47 for you guys so first of all sanjeev I welcome you to our platform, to your platform, and at the same time, I congratulate you. Thank you so much, sir. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. So, how does it feel like? कैसा लग रहा है आपको कि अब now you are a CA finalist, now you are a ranker. So, अभी आपकी पहली expression, पहली feeling जो आपने जब result देखा, जब जहाँ भी थे आप, और जब family के साथ share किया, तो what was the first reaction? I we want to hear from you. So I was very happy, in fact, to see these results. So when the results were out, my OT OT training was going on at BKC. So like you know, we were having a group discussion when someone shouted, "Ki, uh, you know, uh, result a gaya hai. So please check it." So you know, everyone started running. They started checking the results, and I opened my phone. I fill in all my details, and then I check. And then when I saw 544, both groups cleared. That feeling was, you know, at a different level. Like because you know. when you put in so much amount of efforts for 9 months and then you see you know the word pass written two times it gives you a different yes, yes. you know hit all together you feel that you know you have achieved so much because that feeling can't be put into words exactly but you know it was a beautiful feeling my parents were proud of me in fact they were more happier than me so right. and also when i you know checked my merit list and when i saw those two digits 4 and 747 I was I was on cloud nine at that time because I wasn't expecting a rank first of all, uh, and that too when I saw that you know I scored five forty four, and on top of that I got a rank, so you know it was a cherry on the cake. So it was an amazing that. feeling uh, I can say, but the wow, wow, a feeling I yeah. have. और रैंक आपने एक्सपेक्ट किया था आप वैसे आपने बोला कि मैंने रैंक एक्सपेक्ट नहीं किया था बट क्या आपने रैंक को दिमाग में बैक ऑफ द माइंड क्योंकि ड्रीम तो हर सी स्टूडेंट का होता है कि रैंक आ जाए यार क्या पता So did you plan at all about the rank? So when I started my CA inter journey, so there were two things in mind that I should have conceptual clarity about all the subjects which I am studying, and also yes. like you know if I put in the requisite amount of efforts, rank will automatically follow me. Like I'll definitely clear, and yeah. rank will automatically follow. So the main priority at that time was you know to understand each and everything in the right spirit, and yes. to give exams in the best possible way in which I can. So yes. once I did that, so automatically I got the rank. And if you believe on a strategic management philosophy, value create करो, business grow करेगा, yeah. वैसे अपने आप आएंगे. Exactly. <laughs> And you got that. So <laughs> exactly. yeah, once you follow a process, the output automatically comes. Automatically comes. And that's uh, again, again I would like to congratulate because it's a great achievement. Or थोड़ा सा आपने बोला कि when I started the journey. So I would like to hear from you what was exactly your CA intermediate journey? How was it like? And at the same time, from where did you study it? And what are what what were your marks basically? कैसा marks किस किस paper में किस तरह से score किया? ये सारे बच्चे जानना चाहेंगे क्योंकि मैं मान के चल रहा हूँ कि minimum exemption तो आपको आया ही होगा इस level तक पहुँचने के लिए. So please tell the guys that कैसा रहा, कहाँ से पढ़ाई करी, कैसे कैसे किया आपने? so my ca so i belong from a batch where we you know got very less time for ca intermediate compared to the previous attempt students because our yes. exams got post our ca foundation exams got postponed so we had yes. a very limited amount of time where giving both groups was also like you know a very difficult a tough challenge in such a yes, yes. a tough challenge but then challenge. you know i had my friends i had my family to support me and they said ki you know if you do it properly it will happen So that's how I started. Like you know, with the right amount of confidence and spirit, I I started with all these subjects. So yes. I took coaching from Ednoit classes. All these Ednoit Mumbai, right? 
Then Great. costing me, I scored the highest 83. 83. Taxation wow. was yeah. Taxation was 67. 67. तब की इस बार taxation में बड़ा tough marking हुआ है. Yeah. Paper भी थोड़ा मुश्किल था. हाँ. Great. That's a great commendable job. Yes. Other papers? So your voice is cracking. No. Are you getting now? Hello. Yeah. Now it's all good. Ah. Yeah, so yeah, in group two, I scored sixty-five in advanced accounts. Great. Audit, I scored fifty-five. EIS great. and SM, I scored sixty. And That's FM, great. I scored, <laughs> I scored seventy-one. Well, only one paper that fifty-five, right? अभी वो audit वाला. Audit भी थोड़ा सा इस बार tricky था. मतलब थोड़ा tough था. थोड़ा डर भी लगा होगा उसके बाद. ठीक है. That that was the only paper. You know, I was scared that you know I might fail, but then. Yes. Then you managed it. नहीं तो फिर आठ के आठ एग्जामेशन ही होते और सिक्सटी मतलब आईएसएसएम में भी यू जस्ट टच सिक्सटी तो चलो अच्छा है कि सेवन अदरवाइज दैट्स ग्रेट मार्क्स अलोंग विद एक्नोवेट हम्म यस यस एक्नोवेट अलोंग विद एक्नोवेट आई वुड रियली लाइक टू थैंक यू बिकॉज़ यू नो आफ्टर वाचिंग ईएसएसएम एट एक्नोवेट आई आल्सो केम अक्रॉस अ YouTube चैनल एंड दैट्स व्हेन आई यू नो एक्चुअली फाउंड माय लव फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट यू नो आफ्टर वाचिंग ऑल योर वीडियोस एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग Each and every concept in a great manner. That's when yes, yes. I'm like, you know, let's buy this course. I'll definitely learn something new. You yes, know, yes. if not for everything, I'll definitely learn new concepts. I'll get, you know, better conceptual clarity, and I'll score better in the ISSM. Because, yes. uh, like, I used to find theory subjects quite difficult because uh, I can't memorize things if I don't understand it. So yeah, I got when it. I started mm-hmm. watching your videos, that's when I started actually, uh, actually understanding the whole concept. Gain a particular topic, so EISSM started becoming easy for me, and then you know when I went to the exam hall, I was very really confident with this paper. I think you have done the course. Yes, sorry, sorry to interrupt. I think you have done the course by yourself. You have not told me that you have done the course by yourself. I think you have done the course by yourself. I think you have done the course by yourself. I think you have done the course by yourself. I think you have done the course by yourself. I think you have done the course by yourself. I think you have done the course by yourself. I think you have done the course by yourself. I think you have done the course by yourself. I think you have done the course by yourself. I think you have done the course by yourself. Your exam came, so मतलब ये भी commendable है कि इतने लंबे समय के बाद you decided कि I have to go with this teacher at this juncture. So it you know it fears us also कि अरे अभी बच्चा exam है and he is buying course how will he complete whether he will be able to clear or not because ऐसे orders जब मेरे पास आते हैं तो I keep a great watch on those courses and most of the times I talk to those students. तो मेरे दिमाग में था कि I will talk to him. पर फिर मेरे दिमाग में ये आया कि मे बी की दिस गाय इज बाइंग फॉर नेक्स्ट सेमेस्टर मीन्स नवंबर ट्वेंटी टू तो जनरली वी थिंक लाइक दैट बट दिस इज अ रेयर केस सो यू डिड वेल सो जब मैंने आपके मार्क्स देखे तो आई एम रियली ग्लैड दैट यू स्कोर इन सच अ ग्रेट मैन आई एम रियली हैप्पी एंड द कंसिस्टेंसी दैट यू पुट इन टू प्लेस मतलब ये एक बच्चों के लिए भी मैसेज है कि आप सारे पेपर को कॉन्सेप्चुअली बेहतर अंडरस्टैंडिंग के साथ बराबर वेटेज के साथ लेके चलो तो आपको थोड़ा सा 20% 10% अप्स एंड डाउन्स के साथ यू विल स्कोर गुड एंड बोथ ग्रुप इज एनीवे एनीवेज गोइंग टू बी अ ग्रेट यू नो एस्पेक्ट गो फॉर बोथ ग्रुप बहुत बच्चे ना थोड़ा अभी देखो यू हैड लॉट ऑफ टाइम क्रंच आफ्टर कोविड यू आर स्ट्रगलिंग विद ऑल दीस फेजेस सो दिस इज अ रैंक व्हिच हैज कम एट द टाइम्स ऑफ यू नो आई कैन से लॉट ऑफ डिस्टरबेंसेस तो उसके बीच में कोर्स पूरा करना कंप्लीट करना वो भी खासकर मुंबई में जहां अभी हाल हाल तक लॉकडाउन लगते रहे थे छोटी छोटी बात पे लॉकडाउन लगते रहे और देयर यू कंप्लीटेड द कोर्स एंड एट द सेम टाइम यू अपीयर्ड यू स्कोर्ड रैंक सो अभी मैं छोटा सा आपसे थोड़ा सा और पूछूंगा एआईएसएसएम के बारे में पर्टिकुलरली आई वुड लाइक टू नो दैट हाउ वाज द पेपर एंड व्हाट वाज योर रिएक्शन ऑन एआईएसएसएम पेपर एंड व्हाट एन आइडियल स्टूडेंट शुड डू टू क्रैक दिस कोर्स इन अ इजी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड स्कोरिंग मैनर सो इन ब्रीफ यू कैन टेल मी टेल द स्टूडेंट्स नॉट मी Tell the audience, tell the all you know, your juniors, your colleagues, your friends, so that they you know get a clear picture of this subject. How we should approach this subject? Please tell it in a so, brief. So, 
first thing is like you know whenever you're studying any theory paper like even if it's audit for that matter so mm-hmm. when you're reading it for the first time you should always you know sit with a pen or pencil and when you're reading like suppose you start with any chapter underline the important words which you feel that when you read this chapter for the second time it should take you less time to finish that chapter so yes. let's let's say for an example i'm starting with a chapter named core banking system and when i read yes. it for the first time it takes me 5 to 6 hours to you know just read and understand the entire thing so i should know that when i'm sitting for my you know first revision it should take me 2 or 3 hours not more than that because if it's yes. taking you the same amount of time you have either not understood it properly or you are wasting your time because wasting in ca inter me uh, journey you already have limited time in your hand so you need to make sure that when you are reading it for the first time only mark the important words which you feel that when you read it for the second time you'll have the overall picture only by reading few amount of words yes. second thing is that uh, also when you are reading so this is one uh, habit which i used to train my train my mind regularly so for example if you are reading any topic like before you start start you know diving deep into it by reading the content which which is written yes. in the book close yes. the book think about it if you suppose you are reading this word for the first time what comes to your mind when you read this so for example types of architecture so close the book think about it for a while ki you know i think 2d architecture will be like this 3d architecture will be like recall that. recite so, revise yeah, recall recite recall <laughs> recall keep on recalling yes yeah so when you do this then open your book and you know uh, check you know if it's matching with what you have thought and when you do this you are you know indirectly training your mind because you know i've seen my friends getting blank in the exam hall this won't happen you know if you develop this you know critical thinking because your yes. brain knows how to work in critical situations and even when you don't know the content your brain knows how to think so how for any thing and how to solve that be yeah. be intuitive be you know uh, questioning mode mein rehne ka aur question yeah. puchte rehne ka apne aap se theek hai exactly. yes you will get the answer be curious be curious, be curious. about curious. new things so whenever you are learning new things and eis is full of technical language where you will find many new words so if you are curious let me tell you you know this is the fact that you you will never get bored in eis it's an interesting subject which will yes. you know garner curiosity in your mind about the new terms and you know technology especially now uh, industry mein ab kya naya hone wala hai yeah yes, kya naya hone wala hai aur hamari daily life se bhi kafi connected hai jab hum use connect karna shuru karte hain to it becomes easy uh, this is what my reading also is ek aur question one more question i will ask about eis uh, you have seen so many past year questions when we were preparing through mentor terminator or booster books so we were going through several you know past year questions do you feel that the question paper nowadays icai is asking and it was being asked you know two attempts three attempts back there is a mix shift uh, there is a great shift in the uh, question paper question pattern yeah so i think the uh, the quality of questions have changed so like if you compare you know this year's paper or you know if you compare the of course the papers which will be coming in the coming attempts with the previous year's paper you will see that previous years papers the questions were you know more of direct like you know what is this state three features uh, of this so there are questions you know advantages advantages disadvantages which were quite direct yes. and you don't need to think too much before writing but if you see nowadays like especially in strategic management as well if you see the yes. questions they are preparing case study based questions where you need yes. where you need to actually think if you know this concept is coming into play when i read this question so you need to apply your mind you know whatever you have studied in eis sm those concepts will be asked on a case study based type question so yes. this is a shift which i think it is good as well because you know uh, because uh, you know in the institute is not asking you direct questions and you know testing only based on your memory it is also testing whether you have understood your concept well or not your knowledge base how, how yeah, what kind of knowledge base do you have do you understand industry do you understand the concept do you understand its application so what should exactly. be the writing according to you dekho uh, i can always tell ki what should be the strategy but i want to listen from you and the guys also want to hear from you that in such a scenario when there is practical application based question moving you know 30 to 35% to 40% questions are you know coming uh, of that nature so what should be our preparation strategy number 1 and how should we write those answers because what should be our writing practice or writing preparation for you know cat, to cater those kind of questions and their answers what do you think okay, so Any- for preparation i think so you know be uh, have 
you know perfect conceptual clarity in all the topics which have been covered in ais sm that's the only way like if you have not understood the concept and if you see the question in exam will definitely get blank like there is no other option other than actually understanding the core concept behind that particular topic and secondly uh, coming to the coming to how to write the answer for these type of questions so this is what i followed and i believe fetched me marks first introduce the topic like suppose the con concept is benchmarking so yes you know give a explain the meaning of what exactly benchmarking is so yes. once you do this you let the examiner know that you have, you know firstly understood the concept and you have, you have also explained the concept by writing about it yes so you once know you know the facts of the case yes yeah you know the facts yeah. of the case then mm. explain then come to the you know question so whatever case the question has asked it will be a you know long case study break it down into pieces and write a summarized version of what what's asked and what are the facts of the case so yes. and then connect the fact facts of the case with the answer so Answers. you try to as per the above as per the above as per the above explanation i mean to say this you know and with the example you support it yes correct so I you know. you explain the uh, answer uh, with reference to the question and also give a supporting example to this so when you give an example you let the examiner or the checker uh, checker know that apart from this you also know an example you know which can support your answer so you have an understanding of that particular topic and once you have connected your answer with the question write a conclusion like final conclusion ki this is how you know this concept has been uh, has been the answer for this particular question yes sanjeev any special strategy a ranker follows for practice how did you manage time to practice because you had very less time 9 months time tenure and you had to you know crack the both groups both group papers so uh, what were your revision strategy number 1 and what was your practice strategy these two are very important because you had time crunch still you managed to you know uh, prepare for all the subjects and in detail also because the things that you are talking understanding bhi kari memory bhi kari balance bhi create kiya examples bhi put kiya so how did you manage these two things revision and practice so uh, before i tell my strategy i would like to tell one thing which didn't work for me and many of my friends and what's the alternative or substitute for that which i started following like you know during the last 4 5 months so one strategy which failed for me and my friends is that we usually keep a schedule ki i'll wake up at 5 am i'll take a bath i'll brush my teeth then i'll have breakfast by 6 o'clock 7 o'clock yes. i'll start studying 7 to 10 uh -huh. i'll study 10 to 10:15 uh, i'll take a break 10:15 <laughs> to 12 o'clock i'll again study so they make a set rigid schedule for themselves and mm -hmm. what happens mechanical is, schedule like, yeah a, a robot type <laughs> schedule robot okay. type so mm -hmm. what happens to this type of strategy is if you can follow it it's very good but then even if you wake up you know one hour late you're like aaj main 1 ghanta late uth gaya hu main kal se follow karta hu again <laughs> next day you yeah and suppose 5 to 8 and suppose you you know you are not able to study for one hour then you are like yeah I'm, you know i studied one hour less so my schedule has got disturbed kal se pakka follow karunga <laughs> and you get into this loop where you start to ask anything and actually you and don't you never loop. come out of this loop yeah you never come out of this loop <laughs> like getting you know out of it is a is a tough task in itself so yes. this one strategy failed miserably for me at least uh -huh. so a substitute strategy which actually helped me and you know It gave results also is divide your days into tasks and not time. So whenever you, yes. whenever you are about to sleep, make sure that yes. you you know give yourself a task. So, so tomorrow I have to complete three subjects of costing and one chapter of ESSM I have to read. So when you do yes. this, you are not uh, in a time crunch. Like you know I can wake up at ten also. I wake I can wake up at five also. And you have confidence so, also, motivation also. <laughs> yeah, you have the confidence and motivation also. You and you know that before job. sleep, yeah, before sleep you need to do this. or else you yes. sleep late so when you do yes. this you are you, you are not giving yourself ki mujhe aaj 8 ghanta padhna hai ya 12 ghanta padhna hai even if yes. i am done with this in 4 hours i have done my task for the day yes so, today's job has been done <laughs> yeah so there will yeah. be days you know when you'll complete your job in 2 3 hours and you'll be like wow aaj bahut jaldi ho gaya i can play and you know roam out with my friends today and there will be days when theek hai kabhi 8 to 12 hours bhi chala gaya 
So there is no set rigidity out here, and there is very less scope for procrastination because Means you know. Means there is a rumor on Telegram channels, जैसा चलता है कि CA का बच्चा movie नहीं देखता, CA का बच्चा पढ़ाई नहीं करता, CA का बच्चे क्या फेयर नहीं हो सकते, CA के बच्चे के ये नहीं हो सकते, वो नहीं हो सकते, ये सब CA के बच्चे के भी सब normal life होती है और फिर भी rank आते हैं. Exactly. You just need to know how to prioritize your daily life. Like you know, ये complete कर दो, then ठीक है, go chill out with your friends, family, have a good time. How many revisions did you do? So revisions, actually, uh, I don't have a you know perfect tab on that. So what I used to do is, so like suppose if I'm studying a particular subject today, so I you know I made sure that you know I don't like after I complete that, I don't keep a long time you know without revision. To revise because, that, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. to revise it because there will be times when you feel that you are very confident about a particular subject, but when you don't touch that for you know straight one month, one and a half month. Ah, so if you're thirty thirty five days, like, you will forget everything. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be like yeah. shit. Abhi mujhe nahi aata. You'll get blank. That will create, mm -hmm. you know, sadness and you know, yeah. you'll be like abhi pura. Under confident bhi ho jaate ho. Apne aap ko underestimate karna shuru kar dete ho. Bilkul. Yeah. So you need, you mean to say ki bhai subjects mein ek particular time gap ke baad uska time aana chahiye. Usko rotate yeah. karte ro. Be in touch consistently. Be in touch with your papers and go into the examination hall. Yeah. So and especially for your... theory subjects uh, like hmm. audit and EIS. Make sure that in a day, if not the entire chapter, at least you read five sides, ten sides, you know, so that you don't leave that. घंटा डेढ़ घंटा ठीक है आपने उसको लगाया तो you are you know in touch with the paper that is there in your mind moving मतलब चल रहा है कि हाँ भाई यार इसमें ये होता है ऐसा प्रैक्टिस के लिए कितना एफर्ट मारा था कितना रिटर्न प्रैक्टिस किया था एक्जेक्टली बिकॉज देखो एग्जाम में क्या होता है तुमको टाइम मैनेज भी करना है यू हैव टू हैव गुड गुड स्पीड ऑल्सो रीडिंग राइटिंग बहुत स्पीड मैटर्स स्पेशली इन you know modern times when icci is asking questions like this and all the things so aapka normal normal practice ke naam pe aapne kya kiya what did you so, do for practice so like uh, uh, for me like uh, like you know since since like you know my 10th standard or you know for any academic exam my writing speed is quite fast like you know like i i have, I have confidence in myself yeah bachpan se i have this uh, you know trait that you know i can write pretty fast and i can put my thoughts into words like clearly so clearly. yeah so the thing is like uh, means you mean to say your subject, language your communication your reading writing habits since school life matters a lot because whatever we do in the examination hall is not only the reflection of the 9 months coaching that yeah. you did it is basically what you have learned from childhood so yeah, overall the wo performance dikhti yes pura yeah, tenure so work writing, karta hai my writing speed has been great so i usually focus on reading more and more things so i practiced yeah. uh, like i made sure that i at least write one proper you know mock test paper before i go for my exams so exams. i did that but i think this approach won't work you know for everyone because some students you know require writing you know three or four papers writing practice they need yes yeah yes. so It differs from person to person, so what worked for me might not work for you. So make sure that you at least write, you know, two or three papers before you go for the exam. So you are confident, and you know, you can work, you can handle the stress situations, you know, so that in those three hours of the exam in the exam hall, you don't get blank and you are able to write the paper in its entirety. Ah, uh, Sanjeev, one uh, very critical thing. that uh, when a student talks about this it matters a lot and especially a rank holder when he talks about these things it matters a lot to the students and that is about the stress because every student faces through you know some you know mental health is very important stress uh, management is very important including time and etc but stress mental health your uh, mental toughness is very much required when you face competitive examinations so what did you do to manage all the stress psychological health because nowadays people are talking about this earlier to koi baat nahi karta tha iske bare mein but now we are talking about this so because most of the students get panicked lose their dedication lose their concentration aur exam se pehle aake unki tabiyat kharab hi ho jati hai bahut sare stress ki wajah se they fell ill so how did you manage throughout because you had lot of pressure of eight papers revision practice classes nine months mein sab kuch kiya and exams and then rank so how did you manage this particular feature please tell me because it is very important actually you asked a very interesting question out there because i've yeah. seen my friends and myself also you know going through that phase 
So if you see, CA journey is not easy. Like, you know, whoever tells you that it's, it's easy, you know, make sure that you let me meet that person. So in this journey, there'll be lots of ups and lots of downs as well, and especially downs, because there will be times when you feel that, you know, your subject may say, I'm not made for CA. Or, you know, you'll have self doubts and you'll feel that, you know, should I give up or should I, you know, just uh, switch to some other course or should I shift my attempt? Should I give uh, only one group? So uh, there will be times like this. And it's chapter so, of hari hai, isko chodi de te. <laughs> Yeah. So it's the this thing is there for every stu- CA student. Be it, you know, even I think even the all India anchor one, you know, even he'll agree yes. that, you know, he has gone through these phases because yes. it's a part of your life. You know, even if you would have not been doing CA, these things would come, you know, maybe in some other course or in some other form. So yes. life may you need to accept this thing. Ki, Ups and downs, but first thing, have self confidence, believe in yourself that you can do it. And also, one tip which I would like to give you all before you know going to exam is that be mentally prepared. Like, suppose it is a hundred mark paper, all right? So, for, you know, think like this ki exam is tough, aiga, so zada se zada it will be 30 to 40 marks. But yes. 60 marks, ICI can't set it difficult because if, yes. if they're setting difficult, Zero percent of the passing percentage. Like, <laughs> so be sure ki make uh, prepare your mind ki 30 40 marks tough. Aane wala hai. Once you do this, you are indirectly telling yourself ki 30 40 marks, there are high chances that I won't get. But on oh the contrary, God. 60 marks, 70 marks, pakka mujha aata hai. Aur pakka pakka hai. Hai. so when you go with this mindset in the exam hall, you see a question 20 marks, ka, you are not getting it. But since you are mentally prepared, ki, mujhe pata tha ki you will crack that also. Hai. So, you know, yeah, maybe you'll crack that, or even if you don't crack, you'll be like, okay, 80 marks, hai na, I'll score 80 out of 80 or 70 out of 80 in that. So, so when you know, that, karke, mere ko kya lag hai ki I am very fortunate, I'm very proud person today uh, because I got a student like you who has such a clear mental clarity about things. You have such a great clarity, and this is something to learn. आप अपने गोल अपने एक्टिविटीज अपने टारगेट के बारे में एकदम क्लियर रहो जुनूनी रहो मान के चलो कि वर्स्ट के सिनेरियो क्या हो सकता है और बेस्ट के सिनेरियो सब मेरे फेवर में आएगा सो इट्स सच अ नाइस एक्सप्लेनेशन आई डिडंट एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम यू ट्रूली लेट मी टेल यू यू आर सच अ क्लियर पर्सन एंड आई एम आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट ऑल द गुड लक इन योर फॉर योर फ्यूचर एंडेवर्स आई एम रियली श्योर दैट आई एम टॉकिंग टू अ पर्सन हु इज गोइंग टू यू नो rank uh, you know top 10 ranker in cfi I'm, I'm i'm really sure about this because the clarity the kind of clarity that you have that is remarkable that is remarkable and this is something that every teacher every students must learn from you and that's great thank you so much on a lighter mode pe. okay yeah social media use karna chahiye ki nahi karna chahiye bada vocal hai jo aata hai banda kehta social media fake do phone ye mat karo wo mat karo तो जरा सोशल मीडिया के बारे में क्लैरिटी दो क्योंकि सोशल मीडिया तो अपने पॉकेट में है अपने दिल में है धड़कन की तरह छुपा हुआ है तो कैसे मैनेज करें और कितना मैनेज करें और कितनी दूरी बनाएं और कितनी नजदीकी बढ़ाएं मतलब हाय बाय कितना करें जरा इस पे क्लैरिटी दो बिकॉज़ यू आर मुंबई कर सो यू हैव बेटर क्लैरिटी ओवर दिस को जितना ये मतलब सोशल मीडिया का जो क्या कहते हैं जो गुब्बार उठता है वो सारा मुंबई से उठता है इंडिया में दैट इज द सेंटर पॉइंट ना पूरा एंटरटेनमेंट इंडस्ट्री तुम्हारे पास है सो नाउ with your all your experience and the city that gives you instinct with all your instinct please clarify on social media i want to listen from you <laughs> this is a very tough question actually because you know so i am a person who uses uh, instagram and linkedin a lot like you know even during the uh, you know during the entire like 9 months 9 months journey i used to use yes. a lot but then yes. i knew when to stop it so i've seen people who you know keep using Instagram continuously and they don't know, you know, ki they are so engrossed in it that they forget things. So they are yes, like, yes. they keep scro- scrolling through the deals. So they know when to start, but they forget when to stop. So oh, there's a limit stop. for everything. So yes. when people say ki social media, pura chhod do, ye sab karo, I'm against that. Ki pura mat chhodo. You know, on a lighter note, use it for, you know, specific amount of time because it is necessary for you to, you know, you know, have a chat with your friends also sometimes because yes. if you keep on studying, you know, for continuous 12 hours, 14 hours, 16 hours, whatever, your mind will get exhausted and, you know, you'll get tired. You, you will memory loss on it. Memory loss on it. And you also mm-hmm. feel like, you know, at some of the other point, you know, I'm missing out on life. I'm not enjoying. So there will be some, you know, frustration. Again. <laughs> frustration. So it's like, don't leave social media completely. 
बट मेक श्योर दैट यू नो यू नो वेन टू स्टॉप बिकॉज की बट आई मल्क यू नो आज आई वॉन्ट यू सोशल मीडिया फॉर हाफ एन आवर ऑल वन आवर दैट्स इट ठीक है देन यू नो एज सुन एज दी यू नो यू आर डन विद दैट वन आवर एंड दी टाइम आर कम्स स्टॉप यूजिंग सोशल मीडिया फॉर दैट डेर सो यू नो यूज इट वाइजली एंड वन मंथ बिफोर दी एग्जाम्स आई वुड एडवाइज की ओनली फॉर वन मंथ लीव इट कम्प्लीटली Like only use WhatsApp or you know and Telegram. Yes. Some Facebook important or, notification that you really need to prepare. Yes. Like because what happens is like last one month, man, when you are using social media. So suppose I open my friend's story, I see him, you know, enjoying at some club or you know, uh, you know, he's he's gone for a movie. So even if I you know close Instagram, that thing remains in my mind for you know mind. at least ten fifteen minutes. So you feel that you have left left social media, you have closed the app, but that thing is going on in your mind, so you are not able to concentrate on your studies. So that Study. creates a ripple effect, you know, by which you waste more time. It so percolates more time. Yeah, right. Yes. You you get so, that FOMO ki yar cash mein bhi hota. So, no, such a great talk. Try hmm. to avoid social media. Yeah. So I think we touched every aspect of a CA student's life. uh and and especially uh the last thing that i want to hear from you the last thing concluding remark from you as an air what is your message to all the students who are repeaters all the students who are new all the students who are going to be a future chartered accountant in this particular profession and course while studying about ca intermediate ca foundation और सी ए फाइनल ऑफकोर्स सी ए फाइनल के बारे में आपसे बाद में बात करेंगे बट सी ए इंटरमीडिएट एंड फाउंडेशन लेवल पे तैयारी करते हुए What is your broad and uh, you know macro level message to the students, especially the repeaters, who are attempt देने वाले हैं उनका किसी वजह से नहीं हुआ है. मोटे मोटे तौर पे आपका एक broad message क्या है उनके? So I think this message is not only for CA students, but for anyone who's you know at any point in life. I think there's this one thing which will always help you is to maintain consistency. Like yes. most of the people fail in examinations, be it CA or any other course. because they lack consistency they will study 18 hours for one day 13 hours for second day and then third day you are like he sleeping for the entire day so this is not yes. how it works you need to be consistent if you want to deliver results so make sure that you are, you know and first and plan yourself so always you know at least you know when you are waking up you have one week ka plan with you so i'm not a pla- person who believes in you know extremely long long term plans because life is very unpredictable you know yes. to make long term plans of course you should have that one vision in life but you should have you know weekly ta- weekly targets or you know monthly targets and for that you need to have daily targets so you should plan your things properly if you want to you, if you actually want to clear this course because this go- course is going to test you a lot like you know it will test you your you know self it will test your self confidence ah, your mental it toughness will, your yeah. body ki fitness <laughs> sab test kar lega ye yeah. there will be lot of self doubts in the entire journey and believe me mm-hmm. like you'll go through these entire things once you take up this course but one thing which you always should remember is that believe in yourself you are much more than what you think like you know there is like you might think that this is not made for you but if you put in the requisite amount of efforts which are needed and if you have the passion to do what it takes i'm sure that you know you'll easily crack this course will people will it. say it is tough i also believe it is tough but the one major thing is that it is vast like we confuse tough with vast so the thing is you need to plan yourself properly and execute it so execute plan to this to stay but execute bhi karna padega so yeah. execute bhi karo maintain that consistency throughout theek hai you know some days are fine kabhi family function aa jayega sometimes your friends pressurize you too much ki you know come for this last trip or you know? so for that you need that buffer period also you know to you know energize yourself and energize you know to get the short term breaks and no one say yes. no to that kabhi koi trip pe jana hai make sure you you know take out your take out some time for yourself pura din study na karo but when mm-hmm. you are doing stud- uh, when you are studying make sure that you are doing it with you know full concentration focus concentration. and last thing like you know just maintain consistency and i'm sure you know you will clear it uh i'm so glad to talk to a such a young champ who scored air and the same time mereko apni class ka ek sher yaad aata hai jo baatein main conclude karu agar main sanjeev ki sari baaton ko conclude karu so behtar se behtar ki talash kar aapke liye bhi hai abhi 47 se i am expecting top 
बेहतर से बेहतर की तलाश कर मिल जाए अगर नदी तो समंदर की तलाश कर और आपके पास तो बीच है बहुत बड़ा समंदर है बेहतर से बेहतर की तलाश कर मिल जाए अगर नदी तो समंदर की तलाश कर यूं तो टूट जाता है शीशा एक पत्थर की चोट से बच्चों के मेंटल टफनेस के लिए बात कर रहा हूँ यूं तो टूट जाता है शीशा एक पत्थर की चोट से टूट जाए पत्थर ऐसे शीशे की तलाश कर बेहतर से बेहतर की तलाश कर सो इट वॉज ग्रेट टॉकिंग टू यू संजीव एंड रियली योर क्लैरिटी योर थॉट प्रोसेस एंड I I can understand now I got to know why you are AIR forty seven. That's clear. मतलब I C I ने अगर आपको AIR दिया है आपकी thought की clarity आपकी consistency आपका सोचने का तरीका आपको आपके subject के प्रति अपने profession के प्रति dedication है जो commitment है जिस तरह से तुमने इसको push in किया है और जिस तरह से consistently नौ महीने में perform किया बस उसका result है बिना हाय तोबा के एक path पे लगे रहे self belief के साथ बिना doubt किए हुए अपने ऊपर and that's why you are AIR और आपको अभी एक छोटा सा रिक्वेस्ट मैं करूंगा अगर बच्चे डिमांड करेंगे आपका एक मेल आईडी और एक व्हाट्सएप नंबर चाहिए होगा सो so दैट बच्चों को कभी गाइड करना हो मेल पे आपसे कुछ पूछ सकते हैं या व्हाट्सएप पे पूछ सकते हैं आई नो कि अभी आर्टिकल शिफ्ट शुरू हो जाएगी तो फोन नंबर वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू शेयर क्योंकि बहुत ज़्यादा फोन कॉल्स और डिस्टर्बेंस होगी आपको भी बट एटलीस्ट नीडी स्टूडेंट्स कैन टेक योर गाइडेंस थ्रू बिकॉज उनको एक्सपेक्टेशन होती है ए है तो हमें रास्ता दिखाएगा तो मैं भी इसीलिए आपसे इसी एक्सपेक्टेशन से आपसे बात कर रहा हूँ so please share with me I will share with the students and three veto power जो आपके पास है please use it uh, so that yes, good students can get the benefit and I will stay in touch and uh, you are now gem of OTC at no where मतलब इतने सारे लोगों को आपने proud moment दिया है सब सर लोगों को धवल सर को especially मेरी तरफ से और आशीष सर को बहुत बहुत मेरी तरफ से congratulations पूरी at no where की team को congratulations मैं तो एक मुसाफिर हूँ रास्ते में मिल गया है ना और अपन आगे बढ़ गए मैं भी मिल गया इसमें चलो तो देन यू आल्सो प्ले द मेजर रोल लाइक यू नो बिकॉज़ ईआईएसएसएल इज वन सच सब्जेक्ट वेयर मेजरली मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स नहीं ये भी क्लैरिटी तुम्हारी है क्लियर है मैं इसमें थोड़ा सा आपको बताऊंगा कि यू डिसाइडेड एट अ मोमेंट ऑफ टाइम कि नहीं यार इस पेपर में मेरे को फंस सकता है तो मेरे को क्लैरिटी लेके आनी पड़ेगी एंड यू डिसाइडेड वन मंथ अर्लियर कि भाई नहीं मेरे को जाना है एक टीचर के साथ जाना है ये पता है कितना बड़ा डिसीजन है नॉर्मली पीपल विल नॉट बिलीव You why this guy after taking all the coaching and that's why you are A I R. तुमने तुमने अपने threat को पहचान लिया ये threat है. You have to deal with it. I cannot overlook. आप बंद कर देने से शिकारी कबूतर का शिकार नहीं करेगा ऐसा नहीं है. शिकारी तो शिकार करेगा. I C I तो छोड़ेगा नहीं. So you decided about you decided and you got to know. You identify where the threat is and and you solve that threat. So I'm really happy and. Uh, Thank you guys. You were watching my talk with uh, Sanjeev Jain, Mr. Sanjeev Jain, AIR 47. Or I'll talk to him again when he comes to AIR CA final. I've put a lot of hope in them. Now I'll have to take more consistency in them. Wish you all the best. And see you. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you so much for having me. Same here. Bye. Thank you. 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 Bye.